It happened again. We're investigating yet another pepper spraying in Norfolk, this time at Granby High School. It is the third time that a school security officer has used pepper spray on students in Norfolk in the last week. Now, you may remember that food fight reported at Lafayette Winona Middle School last week. 37 students were sprayed in that fight. And just Monday, a security guard at Blair Middle School sprayed three students while trained to break up a fight there. Then your side's Ann McNamara is here with some hard numbers and and a question, how common is this in Norfolk? Well, Tom, the superintendent tells me there were 36 pepper spray incidents in the last three school years and only three this year. The thing is, though, those three incidents happened over a span of just eight days. And now all this attention has the school board considering to maybe reconsider using pepper spray on students. Another Norfolk student pepper sprayed, this time at Granby High School. The superintendent says the guard broke up a fight between two students, used a verbal warning, and then used the pepper spray. School officials say one male student repeatedly hit the guard. Former students say they've seen very similar scenarios. I say dozens, most likely dozens, of course. In four years? In four years, absolutely. And they know when to get out of the way. If the pepper spray comes out, you're going to get hit because they don't necessarily target one group. They just walk in spraying into the group and get to the fight as fast as they can to break it up. But Granby isn't the only school where it happened. In the last eight days, reports of 37 students sprayed at Lafayette Winona Middle School and three sprayed at Blair Middle School. It's like all of a sudden we got a little frequency of things happening. Uh, Why Granby is that? Well, that's an interesting question, and that's something that we're going to answer. Here's how the school board does it, a process called After Action Review, a file that includes surveillance video, statements from witnesses, and protocol. Put in place in 1997, school policy says security can pepper spray students after a verbal warning. We need to look carefully at our practice and see if our practice matches, matches policy, okay, and then understand what we can do to improve. Former students say they've been hit while walking to class, even though they weren't in the fight. I don't believe that they, they, they're doing a bad job. I just think that there should be a better alternative. Who is to blame? Who well, has that's a, a tougher time? And that's a great question, okay? And I think one of the things we live in is this world of blame. Okay, so there's lots of blame and there's lots of credit to go around. The superintendent says some options are putting more resource officers in the schools and eliminating pepper spray altogether. What are they supposed to do? Dr. Bentley says there are security cameras in Granby High School, but he does not know if those cameras captured this particular fight because it was so close to a classroom. Now, Norfolk Public Schools denied 10 on your side's request for video from the Lafayette Winona Middle School food fight. They cited student and personnel records. Tom? And we do know that Norfolk City Council talked about this issue earlier this week, and now the school board will most likely be taking it up. There is a meeting scheduled for November 16th. It's likely to review the pepper spray policy, and it should be on the agenda.